Ja. Just stop it, please. <laughs> Welcome to a new renewed and recycled show of our TV. If you remember, last week our anchor became a tragic victim of the human rights violations. Yes, yes, the last time we saw him, he was in very bad shape, lying on an operating table. After that, he simply vaporized. What do you think? Did it happen to him because he was an investigative journalist? Never thought about that before, but it's possible. Good idea for a future program. And in this program we'll talk about those who have to struggle with the chaos in this country is in. I'm talking about the young people. Today is a sunny day and let's go see this motivated youth of ours paving the way for a better future. You see what the job's like, 20 tons to lift, 7 tons each for the three of us. It's not too bad. What will happen if they see that I'm not a man? Uh, just pull your breasts in and you'll be alright. I want to be a musician. Do this job and you'll be able to buy a guitar. Two, three jobs for a guitar. Two, three jobs for an amplifier. Another two, three jobs and I could become Schwarzenegger. You think that other rock and roll musicians haven't done such jobs before they became famous? Rock and roll? Rock and roll is dead. Folk music, that's where the money is. If you look like me, full of muscles, you can only play folk music. You don't even have to know how to play. And do you know the old song, Where Are You, My Bodybuilder? It's easy for you to make jokes on me. What are you going to do later on? I came here from Spain. It was like samba, rumba, cha-cha-cha, sun and beach. Then I returned my hometown to meet old fellows. And nothing, nothing then. I have to take roads to pay my way back. And you? What do you think to do? I think I'll find a job in some leading political party as a deputy. Why a deputy? My neighbor works as deputy. The guy's earning millions. While his boss is running around from one meeting to another, he's just counting the money. He's about to build his third house. And what about school? What school? The guy's a simple farmer. He arrived in town six months ago and now he's taking over the whole town. A farmer? That's not that bad at all. Are you serious? Yes. You'd get sick of it if you could take over the whole town like my neighbor did. It's not that bad. But please, don't forget us when you're famous. Then we will organize things in such a way that all the young people could study, work and then play the music. All the things that we missed in the war. Here he comes! The executor. Ah, how are my youngsters? And how's the musician? Have you tuned your shovel? So here's the deal. 60% for me, and you share the rest. Stop! This road is going nowhere. Ah, uh, who gives a damn? I would erase all borders between people. Man makes his own limits. Maybe I would change those signs with the red spots on them, which stand on the borders, and make complete freedom of movement. I would try to change the system of education and bring it closer to the Western level. I would force all people to buy instruments and play, because that's the cure for everything. My God, did you see those youngsters of ours? Hey, what do you think? Hello! What, what happened? I asked you what you think about those poor youngsters of ours. How do you know what I think? I don't think about youngsters at all, I think about money. Money? What monkey? You just said you only think about cash. What mash? What's wrong with you? I asked you about these kids of ours. This is not my kid. Didn't I tell you 100 times? I found him in a rubbish bin. I know about Zuzu, but I'm asking you about the kids in this country of ours. About the future of those poor kids. Don't you understand? What kids? They just cause problems. They fight at football matches. They spend all night in discos. They'd like us all to retire. There's young people for you. Shame on them. I feel sorry for whoever stands before you in court. That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yes, and I feel sorry for these kids because they have to deal with 
people like you and me. I say the important issues need to be solved first. Important issues? By the time you solve those important issues, our important youth will be just as old and senile as you. By that time, they'll have great-grandchildren. See? Didn't I tell you? There will always be young people. It's never too late. You mean great-grandchildren? Yes. Well, that's true as well. You know, some would say you're stupid and not too bright, but, but actually you're a genius. Imagine how it feels for me. What? Who? I asked, how is he? Who? Zuzu? He's sleeping. Thank you for being with us in this youthful odyssey. And next week we'll show you the people who are normally ignored by many in this country and what they think. What? We'll talk about politicians again? No, not politicians. We'll talk about them in some future program. If we do, do you believe that anyone will watch that show? Yes, of course. Well, actually, I don't know. Who knows? Nobody knows. Knowledge is fragile, as our people would say. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Tchau, acolhado,